What's good everybody, it's your boy Hums from Out The Gaming, and today guys coming to you with a brand new deck profile, but before we get into that guys, make sure you guys like the video, make sure you guys comment down below, and of course guys, if you're not sub, make sure you guys subscribe, so I know that you guys are enjoying my videos, so we can keep giving you amazing, insane daily content. But without further ado guys, let's get straight into this deck profile. So, starting off with the deck profile guys, we played the new edition um bluebeard the plunder patrol shipwright uh, sorry these names are really really confusing but essentially what bluebeard does is it's kind of like an extender where he says if you control a plunder patrol monster other than um his name you can special summon him and then if he's sent from the field or uh if he's sent from the monster zone or from your hand to the graveyard you can discard one card and then draw one card so he's very similar to like a dark world's dealing and then again he's a level four um water monster which really really uh fits the theme of the deck and he's really good and then of course um Having the draw effect is kind of uh, really nice and niche when you like link off and you can discard a card and draw a card Then the card you discard like kind of floats into something and just helps you like push further and further which is really really good He's a great addition to the uh, deck because he's an extender as well And I think uh, moving forward if they get like maybe another card like him um, It'll really push the deck uh, further and further to its capabilities But yeah moving on to um, some of the first additions to the deck um, We're talking about Redbeard and we're talking about Whitebeard so Redbeard and Whitebeard basically have the exact same effect, which is why I categorize them together. And it basically it is a quick effect during your opponent's turn, especially on one Plunder Patrol monster from your extra deck, with the same attribute as a monster your opponent controls or is in the graveyard. And if you do equip this card, you control to it. And then they have the effects where if this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, I believe. Yeah, if this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard or from the hand to the graveyard, you can float. So basically, um, target one Plunder Patrol monster you control except Redbeard, equip it to this card. And then he, she floats from, you can, um, someone from the deck. So these cards are really, really good in what they do. And again, um, Whitebeard is a tuner and Redbeard isn't. So it gives you more utility um, in the long run. And these cards just kind of help you summon monsters from your um, extra deck, like being like a one card combos. And then they help you float into even bigger and better things. So I think that um, Redbeard and Whitebeard are really, really good. Again, Bluebeard has his um, you, you, uh, uses as well. I don't know what word I was trying to come up with that, but it definitely was not uses. But uh, yeah, Redbeard, um, Whitebeard, really, really good cards. Um, again, they are three of them in the deck because they're super crucial. But yeah, uh, moving on to the uh, last addition um, to the uh, monsters, where we play Golden Hair, um, the newest Plunder Patrol card. And basically, um, Golden Hair says you can send one other, one other Plunder Patrol monster from your hand or face up to the field to the graveyard to special summoner and then if she's in the graveyard you can discard one card and special summoner but then again there's a restriction where you can only summon um planet patrol monsters this card is really good because she also is a level four um tuner monster so now you have more uh uses in the deck with like tuners and like you, you know you can kind of like mold your hand to sort of shape the end board that you want and she's really good because she kind of like you can send like for example you can send um blue beard or you can send like red beard or white beard to the graveyard for her effects summon her and then it'll trigger their effects to like float into another monster so just like that you kind of like one like plus two already because now you can go into like a synchro monster and um golden hair is really really good just because of the utility she provides as well as being like another extender um in addition to um blue beard is really really good and i think that this is a great addition to the deck and what the deck needed and it's really nice because you kind of like play all the planet patrol monsters so it's really, really good then we play um triple tin goldfish so i actually saw um another person playing this cartoon goldfish and i really got inspired by the idea just because it's a level four monster that on normal summon it's actually by summon a level four monster from your hand and all these monsters are level four so it helps you just kind of tutor out your extra, extra deck monsters as well like your xyz card like it helps you tutor out into like bahamut shark lets you like you summon this card boom now you summon this card and now you have like sort of a disruption in your opponent's turn so tin goldfish is really really good in what um he provides or she provides being an extender and we play the one tiny spirit stana just because like kind of wanted just to like sprinkle in a little bit of sauce so i decided to play stana level four water monster i can special summon itself is really really good being able to turbo into cards like bahamut shark yes you can play abyss roller as well in this deck and um i don't play it right here but you guys can fit it in for sure so yeah that's it for stana if you guys want to play other cards you guys can like more stanas more dangers whatever but just right now i think that this is the best ratio to play but yeah moving on to um the other engines we play uh triple danger mothman now mothman's like so good in this deck because 
Like you can go Mothman effect, you can pitch a, a monster, summon Mothman draw a card, another monster you pitch will trigger for the most part because it's a planet patrol monster or another danger. And then he is a Dark World Dealings if he gets hit. Yes, it helps your opponent, which is kind of unfortunate. But I mean like draw one, discard one to search another card and like filter your hand is really, really good. So Mothman is super crucial and then he's a level four as well. So just more added synergy. Then of course you play the one snake, uh, big snake, Nessie, the one Jackalop and the one little boy snake. And these cards are just like utility. You know, uh, this card is a guaranteed special because you can get these cards. If he gets hit, he special summons him. Suchinoku is just like more link um, fodder that you can kind of like combo off um, during your opponent's turn. Just having the monster on board is really, really good. And they play the one uh, Jet Synchro just for like needle fiber plays, you know. Some one card like Synchro, some of this card, this card, this card. Just more utility that the deck provides. And if you play needle fiber, you really need to be playing another like tuner monster that you can actually summon because you can't summon these cards. But yeah, so that's it for the monsters. Now let's move on to the spell cards. So for the spell cards, you play Triple Cobbler Brigade because you are playing like sort of like a go first combo deck, but this is a defensive card as well. So you play Triple Cobbler Brigade in the deck. Then we play Triple Pot of Desires. Um, Pot of Desires is really good because it's like a consistency card. And if you look, we play three of almost every card that we can play three of, like Stana, eh, whatever. Jet Synchron, you don't really need it for the combo, which I'll show you guys. But yeah, Chill Pot Desires is mandatory. If you're playing a 40 card deck and you're playing Pot Desires, I know I saw this um, argument in Zodiac Duelist, but I agree with you, you need to play three Pot Desires. Yes, the fear of you drawing to a second Desires sucks, but like, you have one Desires and they banish you 10 cards, the odds of you drawing into another Desires is super, super low, so I'll take my chances and try and get my consistency cards, which I need to like fully kind of push. So yeah, you play Chill Pot Desires. Then you play Triple Emblem of the Plunder Patrol. Now this is the new addition to the deck. You can only equip it to a Plunder Patrol monster. It gains 500 uh, uh, attack. Also, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. He also has the ability where you can send the equipped card to the graveyard, special on one Plunder Patrol monster from your extra deck with the same attribute as a monster on the field or in the graveyard, and then you equip the equipped monster to it. So it's like really good, and you guys will see how important it is in the combo because you can like equip it to like a monster, send to the graveyard. Now you can equip like. Um, any of these guys in the graveyard and now it just gives like more floating you can for the most part You kind of want to get bluebeard because now you can like potentially draw two cards almost so it's really good And you'll see what I mean when I'm explaining the combo But yeah, you play two um, uh, triple emblem because it's really good then we play um, Triple plunder patrol ship shapes like shipwreck or something like that I just know that this card is super insane because like polymerization for the deck But he also has the second effect where you can banish this card by one plunder patrol monster you control and then you equip one emblem or one Planet Patrol monster from your deck um, to that target, and you can only use that effect once per turn. So this card is like the polymerization, it helps you get the new edition fusion card. And then he's really good because you can banish him, and then you can equip Emblem from your deck to that monster. Then you can use Emblem's effect to send Emblem to the graveyard to summon like a Link monster from your uh, from your extra deck onto the field, and then you equip that monster. So it's like really, really good because basically this card in theory gets you two more cards, so it's really, really good um, in what he provides. And then of course you play the triple plunder patrol shipyard and basically shipyard is really good because um all monsters you control gain 500 attack so if you notice like all of them for the most part kind of give you like a 500 attack boost so it does like slowly add up like 3k 4k damage even but then he also has the effect where it's 500 attack for each planet patrol card in your spawn trap card zone so it really does like add up like i said before then it has two effects one effect you can discard one card and one planet patrol card from your deck to your hand except itself so already like if you think about the synergy that deck, this deck provides you can use um shipyard effect to pitch like this card to get like another card and then you can um obviously you add one to your hand and then the card you discard will float into another card and then like you can get this card and then when you shipwreck you can shipwreck and fuse into another card and then shipwreck will add uh, emblem and then you can banish emblem to get this card and then it's just like a whole lot of nonsense which is why i think this is really good then you have a second effect where this card is in your graveyard try one planet patrol card in spawn trap card zone you can set this card and then you can um return the car card you targeted to your hand so if you have like a monster equipped you can bounce the monster and then you can just normal summon the monster and basically it says that you can only use each of the following effects upon your ship patrol once per turn. So you can actually just get the card and then flip it and then use this effect to discard and add. So this like field spell in itself, like if you think about like all the other sorts of cards, like decks that have field spells, if they had this sort of recursion, like this card would be insane. So I think it's really good. Um, no, I don't play terraform because I just want to keep it at a 40 and I didn't really want to take out like a desires for the terraforming and playing 40 on triple desires like kind of makes me upset my stomach. So I can play that. Uh, then you play the Planet Patrol Booty. Now this card is kind of similar to like a DNA surgery in a way because you can like declare one attribute, try one face of monster opponent controls that make it that attribute, right? And then basically this card is really good because it says, um, 
uh, right here, I, if I can't remember, you can only use this effect once per turn. Um, during the end phase, if you control no opponent patrol mo uh, monsters, you can send this card to Gaver. Then it has the effect where it says, if this card leaves the field, um, you can take one opponent patrol monster from your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck or special summon it. So it's like really, really good because of like the recursion. But then again, like again, the DNA surgery like effect is super insane because like DNA surgery helps you manipulate like cards like uh, red beard and white beard. So now you can like summon any cards you want from the extra deck, and then this is sort of hinting to getting more like attribute monsters maybe from the extract so it's really good and then we play the one planet patrol party party because basically this card says if you can control a planet patrol monster you can draw cards equal to the number of the equip cards you control plus one then shuffle from your hand into the deck equal to the number of equip spells um you control or equip cards you can only really use this deck on your turn and then it says if you special summon a planet patrol monster from the extract while this card is in your graveyard you can equip that card to the special monster then the equip monster can have an attack and then again guys um, you can only use this effect once per duel, but it doesn't matter. That's why you only play one of it And it's really, really good because like you only use the effect once but it does give you this like sort of in Insane recursion which like the whole deck provides which is why I think that this deck's pretty viable and then just quickly I'm gonna show you guys cards that you guys can play so um, you can play Ash Blossom just because like it's utility hand trap that stops, but you can also summon off Needle Fiber. Similar to Ghost Ogre. You can also play Dark World Dealings where each player draws one and discards one, but again, like I don't want to help my opponent and that follows hand destruction into the same category where I just don't want to help my opponent. Um, you play Popper Up as well because Popper Up um, can discard and draw cards and you guys saw from my Spiral Deck file, I really, really like this card, like I think this card's super insane, but mm, like you, you kind of really don't want to discard and then be at like a neck 10 when your opponent stops you, so it's really whatever and then again of course twin twisters discard one card target triggers on the field destroy them and then like the card will float so technically you go into like a plus uh or a net zero instead of like a neg one so it's really good um but yeah let's quickly get into the extra deck we play double uh blackbeard basically blackbeard says you can target one pack monster you control press on one planet patrol monster from your extract with the same attribute as a monster your opponent controls already in your graveyard so similar to um red beard and white beard and then of course all the beards are together and then he says and if you do equip that target to this card, then draw one card. So he kind of helps um, during your portion, like where Vampire Sucker kind of like draws a card. If you draw into like a Planet Patrol card, it gives you like way more, um, you know, like live capabilities. Then play Needle Fiber just because, you know, we got tuners. So in case we kind of like get kerfuffled, we can like combo off even further. Uh, the only Borlo just because this deck spams a lot. And I like want Borlo just to like stop boss monsters. Play the one form of Synchron just because Needle Fiber into Synchron is really good. Then we go into the Crisson Core and Grand Drax or whatever. Honestly, I was just looking for like a card I could summon properly off form of Synchron. And this card just came up the most. Basically, when you summon, it's like you can um, uh, target cards up to the number of banished monsters and like destroy them or something like that. So it's really, really good. Um, he's really good because like just stopping your opponent's turn during like against acts like Adam Spider, they can't replay. Then, of course, we go on to the Plunder Patrol card. So we got the one Brand. Basically, Brand says just get one Plunder Patrol card, target one spell trap card. Your opponent controls banish it then add one planet patrol um uh card from your deck to your hand monster and it's quick fact if you have like a planet patrol card equipped to it so basically these cards all work off each other so like say he like draws a card you summon him and banish card and this card's really good because you can make it during your turn and then like equip this guy or like any of the other cards to him and now you have like quick fact tornado dragon kind of and um planet patrol list plunder patrol ship list yes these cards are very difficult to say is really good because he's the negate so special on one uh quick effect during the main phase you can special on one plunder patrol monster card from your hand or face a spell trap card zone and um, then basically he says when your opponent activates a monster effect quick effect you can discard one plunder patrol card and negate the activation if you do then destroy it then if this card is equipped with the plunder patrol card you can add one card from your deck to your hand so basically like like you can discard a card negate a card and now his effect will trigger to add a card and now you can summon um Planet Patrol Brand, and then you can discard a card and banish a card, and then like say this will all like function off of Blackbeard. So say Blackbeard draws you into a card. I'll explain the combo later on, but yeah, there's a whole lot to say. But moving on from list, we play the XYZ. So we play Mork. So basically, he says you can discard one card, target one effect monster point controls, banish it, then add one spell trap card from your hand, and then he's a quick effect if he has one equipped. So all of these cards like kind of function in their own regard. Where like if you use this card, you can like special one monster your opponent controls, and then equip it. So now He's an equip card and then you can draw a card and now say for example like he draws into something you can use his effect to bitch and banish and now his effect trigger to add and then you use his effect to add and then you use his effect to add and then it's like a whole like cycle of just like monster moves so it's really good then we play the one bahamut shark because all we play are level four um water monsters and then we play the totally awesome just you know just because it's totally awesome but yeah um now that we did the deck fall guys we're just going to show you a really quick combo that this deck can do so yeah Alright guys, so starting off with a combo um, tutorial, 
basically you need a uh, white beard you need golden hair you need uh the fusion spell and you need any card to discard okay these de these cards can come in variations as well but for now i realize that this is the best uh, combo but yeah so yeah let's get into it so right here we're gonna use the fusion card to fusion summon into our plunder patrol ship list and now this is gonna trigger our uh, white beard to float into our red beard now we're gonna use golden hair's effect to discard call of the grave or any card to summon golden hair and now right here we're gonna synchro summon into our plunder patrol ship brand and now this will cause um it to uh, re-equip to itself and then we're gonna use this effect to special summon red beard and now right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna banish um, uh, our ship card, our fusion card, which what I said, remember you can target a card and then equip emblem. So now we're going to banish it and we're going to equip emblem from the deck to Redbeard. And now we're going to use it, we're going to use emblem's effect, send it to the graveyard to summon our Blackbeard. And now we're going to equip our monster. So right here is what I was saying, guys. Um, take a four card combo, you have one more card in your hand. But say, for example, you go Blackbeard effect, it says target one uh, effect monster you control, special on one plunder patrol monster from your extra deck with the same attribute as a monster your opponent controls or in their graveyard, then equip it, right? Equip that target, then draw one card. So you can use his effect. You can use his effect to equip a monster to it. And now um, he'll summon himself. This card will get sent to the graveyard. And then basically you draw a card. So now, boom, okay? You equip, now you draw a card, okay? Now what you can do is with this card, you have all sorts of like variations, but essentially you have like three of your boss monsters and now during your opponent's turn you have disruption with this this and this and then of course depending on what you draw like it changes it but yeah so that's it for the combo guys if you like the video make sure you like the video comment what you guys want to see next and this is Hamza from Arthur Gaming telling you to keep on shining peace